Hi, darling. How are you today? Hey, gorgeous. So have you ever felt like you were not allowed to take time for yourself or that you have to be constantly available to everyone else? Do you ever feel guilty when it comes to taking care of your own well-being? Well, if you have, then it's time to give yourself permission. And this video, it just, it means so much to me because I realize that as women, we go through so many different changes from raising children to taking on a career or a business. And then later in life, your parents get older, which you don't even know when that happened because it just seems like it happened overnight. Then they get older and then you have to take care of them, figure out what's going to happen with their life. So it seems like a lot of these changes happen when you're going through menopause and you can't seem to get a grip on everything and what's going on in your life, trying to take care of yourself, your own well-being, and figure out what's going on with your body during menopause. So you're at this stage where you really have to start giving yourself permission. And that's what we're gonna talk about in this video. So I have two key, two, two key tips for you today that would allow you to step up and start to give yourself permission. Now, the first thing I wanna say is that it is essential that you start to make your own well-being a priority and there are so many things like i mentioned earlier in this video that can take away our own time and we give our time away we give of us to other people even when we don't have to because as women we're natural givers we love giving and some of us just maybe you just enjoy doing it it brings you pleasure but sometimes you give so much to your own well-being start to suffer so the first thing I can make you have to make your own well-being a priority. That's number one. And you may know that already, but I'm reiterating it today because maybe right now you're going through something. Maybe this week you've been going through something. This year you've been going through something. Give yourself permission and it's essential to take care of your own well-being. The first step to giving yourself permission is setting boundaries in everything from work, to clients, to family, to your spouse, to your children, to your parents, yes, and even if your parents are seniors and you're taking care of them, you have to set boundaries for everything and everyone. Because then you need to set a boundary and let them know when they can expect a response from you. You have to let them know. People can't read minds. No one knows what you're going through. And a lot of times we really don't want to tell people what we're going through, but you have to set the boundaries. You have to set boundaries so other people cannot take away time that is rightfully yours. So once you set these boundaries, it also means knowing when it's okay for others to ask for help and when it's not okay. That's what it means to set those boundaries. People have to distinguish when it's okay and when it's not okay to ask for help from you. And the only way we can do that is by setting boundaries. Now, once you have set these boundaries and you have established them, you need to be consistent and stick with them. That's the one thing that can, um, that can affect you worse when you're not consistent with your own boundaries. One minute you're, okay, you're allowing people in to, to, to ask you a bunch of questions, next minute you're not. One minute you're allowing family to call you whenever they want, when that's time for you. One minute you don't, you have to be consistent. If this is a time when you need to call me, then you call me at this time. If you allot so many, yourself so many minutes to talk to someone on the phone, then you set that boundary and you stick to it. We can't allow other people to come up on our own well-being. Here's my chic tip number two. So if you're watching this video, leave me some comments. Let me know exactly what you're taking away from this video. So number two is it's important that you acknowledge your feelings and take time for yourself when, when needed. This is the one thing that I've started doing lately is I set a, um, I put a document together. So I put 30 minutes and then I put down one hour, draw a line, and then I draw um, a full day and then I make another line for a whole weekend. So what can you do in 30 minutes that would allow you to take time for yourself. So I write down everything I would do in 30, that I can do in 30 minutes. What can I realistically do in 30 minutes that would give me time for myself? What can I do 
in an hour that would give me time, take time for myself when I need it. What can I do within, a, let's say I do have a whole day, just you, whatever you want to do, then also add that, add what you can do. Make a long list, just sit down one day and do a brain dump, everything you can do. And on your calendar, see sometimes we think that it's all or nothing. Either I'm gonna do it all or I'm not gonna do anything. You can't get into that habit. It's not all or nothing, it's something. It's always something, there's always something that you can do. So whenever you're acknowledging your feelings and you're taking time for yourself when needed, it's okay if something makes you uncomfortable. You're not gonna be comfortable with everything. So it's okay to, when something makes you comfortable, but you have to acknowledge your feelings. That's the first step in making changes in your life. Now, I'm gonna let you know, it's so easy to get discouraged when things don't go your way don't go your way they don't go as your plan as you plan them and when you make mistakes along the way it's so easy to get discouraged and that's when that all or nothing happens i didn't do this i'm a failure this didn't work out for me I'm, i just can't do it and you defeat yourself just by thinking about it so there is no all or nothing when you get discouraged and things don't go your way or things don't go as planned you keep moving forward. You don't stop. So when this happens, you have to just be kind to yourself. Give yourself some grace. Because if you're like me, woman in menopause, woman who's married, woman who's taking care of a senior parent who's in dementia, you have to give yourself some grace. You have to. And you have to remember that failure isn't permanent. It's only temporary. And a lot of times we don't remember that. I'm going to pause right a second. I live by a hospital. It's almost music to my ears sometimes, but I live by a hospital, so you're going to hear that. So write down and send me, a, write in the comments, let me know what is your takeaway from this. What is this something that you're, you're going to think about and meditate on for yourself, and you're even going to try, or something that you haven't thought about lately? Drop me a line in the comments, let me know. And if you want to dig deeper into this subject, then I want to invite you on my upcoming retreat. The retreat is in May, 2023. It's gonna be amazing and fabulous. By the end of our time together, on May 11th through the 15th, by the end of our time together, you have made time, you will have made time to pause, to release, to learn how to let go of the old, embrace the new, embrace your inner chic, and whatever tools that you need that will help you to return home to being your best self. That is what we're going to dive into. Plus, you're going to get rid of all those racing thoughts that keeps you spinning your head at night or putting you into the negative and bring you out, bring you in, bring you out. You're going to get rid of all of that. And you're going to learn about foods that are aphrodisiacs. You want to learn about the essential vitamins that every woman should be taking. You're also going to learn about the herbs that help to clear, clear away racing thoughts to help you get a good night's sleep and something that's for stress management. All of us are going through stress in some form or another. And if you've been stressed out, you need some time just to step back, pause and release, then join me on retreat. So I'm gonna put a link with this video and I want you to join me. Send me a comment and also you can check out the link where I'll be telling you more about the video, where I'll be telling you more about this retreat. So I look forward to speaking to you soon. And until always, I want you to always, always, always Stay beautiful and healthy. Ciao.